guys, Ray from Love ERV and Boat. I'm back with an update on this Yuma SIGS uh, 200 watt flexible panel from Bouge RV that uh, I installed and tested back in about mid August. So I've been using it over a month and a half now on our boating adventures. And it's proved to be quite reliable and uh, puts up pretty good power. I've been using it to charge my lithium power bank along with another folding panel. It's done a good job over the summer. As far as that goes, I had mounted it on the bimini of the boat up top here. Um, and I was making a kind of a blanket to, to protect the bimini. And it's kind of got a, a sharp edges to it and a, a kind of a, a plasticky, I think it's maybe metal inside, but it's very smooth on the on the back. So it'd be very, would slide around a lot on surfaces. So that's what I did on the boat. Um, a lot of the applications for these would be, it comes in with grommets or stick-on um, backing. So people would put it on their, their uh, curved surfaces of their RV or their boat. But uh, in my applications, I wanted it to, to go up on the bimini. So it's nice that it's quite lightweight. So it doesn't weigh the bimini down or anything. Like if I was put some uh, folding panels up there, they wouldn't quite fit right. So it's worked out good for that. But now that it's getting fall, I'm actually starting to move it to the sides and on the brow. So I'm back to show you, oh, I'm using it in that application and we'll do a little bit of more testing um, of it. And I'm gonna give you my uh, pros and cons. So let's go. So the big plus for this panel, of course, is how it can roll around on itself 360 degrees versus other flexible panels that only can go about 30% arc. And of course, folding panels, which kind of fold into a flat flat uh, formation, although they're usually a lot thicker and heavier for a 200 watt panel. This one is, I think it was around seven or eight pounds. So that's nice, very light. You can see what I've done is I've added an old blanket I cut up. I've actually, taped it along the edges just because in my application I don't want to mount it permanently and I put it up on our bimini there in the midsummer it's very good because the sun is so high I get lots of sun on it and it gets lots of uh, power through it but now we're starting to get into late September fall and the sun angle is quite low so what I've been doing now is I've been deploying it along the side of the boat. I'll show you in a sec. Once the sun gets to us, we're kind of in a anchorage right now where there's high mountains, so sun doesn't get into here to here till about 10 o'clock. Anyway, this is what I do. I roll it up, a couple bungees, makes a nice, uh, easy to transport package, and then I can just store it when we're not using it. We're underway. So let's unfold it. I'm going to put it Sun's going to come to the front of the boat, so I'm going to put it on the front head of the boat. And then we can do some tests and see what kind of power harvest we're getting this time of year. So here's a look at the solar panel on the brow of the, the trawler there. It's just about perfect. It's a good length there. And then the, the brow of the flybridge there is kind of tilted up, so it works quite well this time of year. Like I say, I put it on top of the bimini up there in the summer when the sun's high a lot, but this really works out if I can get anchored and facing the right way. Otherwise I'll, otherwise I'll put it on the side and then just move it during the day. Let's paddle over and give you a closer look. Actually looks pretty good right there. And with that backing of the blanket, it doesn't get too hot at all. One thing about this solar panel, I notice it doesn't doesn't get too hot. I did temperature measurements in the first video under the bimini there, and it was actually cooler <laughs> under the solar panel than the regular sun hitting the bimini.
So to put that cloth on, all I did was I put some uh, snap clips through there, just the studs through the back, just a few of them on each end. And then along the edge, I used some uh, Gorilla Tape, it seemed to work pretty good. Stretched the fabric behind it. And then I'm just using uh, carabiners on the grommets here so I can hang it. I want to hang it, just throw some bungee cords through the carabiners. Works pretty good. I think there is some other grommet holes somewhere around the center. I think I want to put some bigger grommets in because they just use kind of little ones here and I've already lost the, the metal piece came out. You can see it there. So they're just really tiny grommets. So they're just meant because this panel's meant to be like screwed down, not kind of used as a portable panel like I'm doing. So I could probably put a, a bigger grommet in that. The material's pretty tough, that plastic stuff. Anyway, seems to work out pretty good for my application. I did have one boo-boo with it. When it was up on the Bimini, we were cruising along and we started hitting some pretty heavy winds. And I just had it tied down on both ends so it lifted up and it was pulling really hard on it like it was going to fly off. So, But as soon as I grabbed one end, it really flipped around. And you can see a few scratches there here material scratch but overall it's pretty pretty tough material and I say it's not really meant to be used the way I'm using it but I think it'll work good so we'll just wait for some kind of peak sun here and I'll give you some measurements of how much power is coming off that in that that position on the boat so it tested the power coming into it it's right around 160 times it fluctuates 158 162 164 it's about what I'm getting out of it which is about 80% of its uh, total capacity which you probably expect this time of year the sun angles getting kind of low tomorrow's October already so we're past the equinox up in Canada here about the we're up around the 50th uh, latitude so it does okay, especially for a, uh, a thin panel. They're usually not that great. I also have another one that I put together with it. So we'll see what, I'll hook this one up and we'll see what the combined yield is right now. Okay, there we go. So this is a 400 watt folding panel. And uh, of course that's 200. I'm seeing high 300s, close to 400 watts right now. There's going to be a bit of loss because they don't match quite right. I've got them in series right now and uh, the voltages don't match so it kind of is going to bring down the, the harvest. But not too bad, I can get pretty close to 400 watts if I lay these panels out front. So size-wise that folds up into that. It's kind of the alternative. It uh, can be folded up and stored away quite easily. Its uh, drawback and advantage is weight. That weighs right around 40 pounds, so it's a little heavy to, to move around. But in a wind, it's a lot harder for the wind to pick it up and, and move it around as well. Whereas these are only, like I say, around 7 pounds, but uh, if the wind catches them, they can uh, turn into a kite pretty easily. So you really have to make sure they're firmly attached. Well, there you go. That's the update. Um, it's been working well for me on the boat. Uh, next year, I may get a, a second one so that we could have uh, 400 watts up on the Bimini, um, get a little more power into the boat. Uh, it has pretty good power output. Um, I don't think it's quite up to the glass panel output personally, but uh, as a flexible type panel, it, it does pretty good. Runs fairly cool, cooler than other panels I've tested. Um, it's really lightweight, which is which is handy when you're putting it on some surface that uh, may be affected by weight. Uh, the Of course, it's killer feature is it rolls around on itself, so you can attach it to any 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 surface and not worry about it cracking or you know 
if it has to go around a, a, a smooth surface like that, it's like here's in an RV, you could wrap it around the front or the back of an RV. And it's actually so thin, you know, it's kind of out of the way. You don't have to put a bunch of mounting gear and stuff like that on the top. Um, if I was going to say anything negative about it, uh, on my particular one with the, the little grommets, they, uh, I could tell right away in a marine environment they were going to uh, rusty. So I think they should maybe upgrade those to like a, a good stainless steel grommet and maybe enlarge them a bit. They're kind of small, but that's kind of a, a minor quibble there. Also, being so thin and light, you have to really watch um, as far as wind goes, like in, in applications where you're going to actually stick them down or screw them down, that's not a problem. But if you want to try to use it as more of a portable panel, you have to keep in mind that oh, with that, that thin of a, a surface and that much surface area, it uh, can get caught by the wind and it becomes a kite. Anyway, I give it a thumbs up. Uh, pricing is uh, fairly high, you know, $600 here, but uh, this company always has sales. Like right now, you can see they have 25% off. They just have their their retail price, but that's not really the price they sell it at. They always have different discounts going on, especially around Black Friday. So if you're interested, in, check them out at Black Friday. Anyway, till next time, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. Cheers, everyone. Cheers.